Hello everybody, welcome back to Cracko298, the channel where we kind of hack guys station Z all the time. I'm your host, Cracko298, of course, and uh, today we're going to go over a little, uh, little uh, tutorial on how to actually modify the textures, um, the graphic quality within the game. And so, first you want to go to the C disk. It'll normally be right here, uh, um, but you can also go to this PC and then do that right there and it'll pop up right here. Go into the user folder and go into your usernames folder. You'll see all these. Now, um, you won't normally see this app data folder. For this, you'll need to go over here and go to options. And then you'll click view. And you can like display all this information, but you want to hide empty drives, hide all these. You want to keep all these. Just all this. And so you want to show all this. Because then you also want to go down here and you want to also show the uh, file name extensions and hit on items you want these so if we go to app data and then we go to local these two um iStations you can be in however it's most commonly found in local so after you come in here you just want to scroll down till you find iStation Z or ISZ the folder double click that open up this folder now you come across uh you won't come across these two files, but you'll come across these folders, logs, crashes. We don't want those. Save games. This is where all your save data is at. Hey, Rebuilder. And anyway, so we're going to go back. And uh, config. Now, the crash report uh, client, this, don't worry about. You aren't going to edit anything in there. It's just a bunch of crash logs like this right here. All right. And so we're just going to go over here, back. You want to open the Windows No Editor, and you'll find a bunch of files in here, right? The input, um, you probably don't want to actually um, edit. Uh, these are all the console commands in case you do um, decide to uh, debug the game, uh, hack the game, or edit the game in some capacity. You can use the iStation Z injection tool, which will all the logs will pop up right here. Now, uh, the game user settings, this right here, this is what we'll want to edit today. So, um, normally it'll come up with uh, resolution quality. Uh, it's normally at 100. This can go up from 100. Oh, well, actually, it can go from 5 all the way up to 500. So, we're just going to up this to uh, 250, okay? Or, yeah, 250. Because, uh, you know, I kind of want it. Um, all these, they're set to max, okay? All these are set to max. The cheat manager, you probably want to enable this, actually. The cheat manager actually allows you to use a lot of cheats, like online and all this. You want that most of the time. Uh, and so, do you want to use vSync? You might want to set this to false right here. That way, uh, it will disable vSync and it'll actually enable these right here. And so we're going to go, uh, you can set the max resolution. So in this case, I could swap these two around, or I could go uh, 600 and then 400 if I really wanted to, but I'm not. So that was 1280 by 1920. Uh, confirm size, you can edit that if you would want. You can edit the window position, um, full screen mode. If you want, you can click zero and it'll open up in a window mode. Uh, it also, you got to check this. So these two also right here, these two are, uh, you have to have them the same exact thing for this right here. You can edit this if you would want. It's does nothing. Audio quality level. You can set this up to three as well. Three being the max audio quality that the game can render and zero being the most basic. Um, I like to normally just put it as one. Uh, what else? Uh, let's of course, we have to edit that. Uh, frame rate limit. You know, we're just going to go to a 120. You know what? Uh, we're just going to go to all nines. Desired window size, desired window height. We don't need that. Um, width, recommended screen width, blah, blah, blah. Um, this, we're just going to have a max of uh, three nines for this. So then we can have unlimited frame rate. Uh, last open, you want to, you have to have this at the end of it, otherwise the Solentile file will be uh, deleted and you don't want that. So, um, to edit the file, click um, S. Alright, just click S, or Control S, I should say. And then all you gotta do is just start up iStation C. Now it's gonna take a little bit, but, um, 
Yeah. See how it is. So uh, we're just going to do my local save because we don't want to be banned off of Steam now, do we? No, no, we really don't. So after it loads, already two seconds. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, lower the volume of the game real quick. Awesome. So it should be uh, should normally be uh, running right now. Uh, we're going to go to single player. We're going to go to slot one. And it'll just have all this. See the thing up in the top left corner. When the game decides to load, of course, you know, uh, going off a older computer may not be the best um, for a hack to save data. As you can see, we're sitting at 60, but that's just because the Steam uh, what do you call it? API. Oh, um, if you have a locked uh, or DRM restricted game, it will default to 60 FPS or lower, depending. But then uh, let's pick just pick up all these. So I'm just gonna pick up all these, and the game looks a lot better than what it would if we had only 100 here. The game looks a lot crispier, sharper, um, and all of that. Uh, you can upscale this game to 4K if you'd really want with these right in here. You guys already know this stuff. And so, um, if you guys like this video, make sure to like it. If you don't, well then don't. And I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.